Zodiacs. It's me Khadija. So if you're new to my channel, then please subscribe if you enjoyed this video. So first we're going to start off by shampooing this hair with this Afiji Shampoo for Damaged Hair, which is a sulfate formula. But since we're going to be using heat on this hair, I just want to make sure that everything is completely clean. And also, this is Hurry Given Hair's 14 inch full lace wig. I love this wig, so I'm excited to do something different to it. So I'm just going to use the shampoo two times and now I'm going to follow up with my protein treatment. This is the Nothing But Intense Healing Mask, which is actually my favorite for my natural hair. It's very strengthening and if you're going to use heat on your hair, I highly recommend that you first do a protein treatment. And I'm just going to let that sit for 15 minutes. Next, I'm going to rinse out the protein treatment and follow up with this ORS Replenishing Conditioner, which is one of my favorite deep conditioners. This will give your hair a protein boost, so it's perfect to use before you're using heat on your hair. And I'm just going to let this sit for 15 minutes as well. So I rinse all of the product out and now I'm just going to brush out the hair with my Denman brush. I can't use a Denman on my natural hair, it's just too rough for my fine hair but it worked great on the wig. And now we're going to move on to blow drying the hair and I just wanted to show you guys what I sprayed on the hair before I started blow drying. I used this L'Oreal blow dry quick dry primer spray just as my heat protectant for the hair because your wigs can suffer from some heat damage and when you try to revert it back it probably won't. So I used that and now I'm just using the Denman brush along with my blow dryer on high heat. that the density of this hair is like medium to high it's kind of a lot of hair but it was surprisingly really easy to blow out and now I'm just gonna style doing a bantu knot out which is gonna give us those sultry curls and I'm using the Caraveda creme brulee cream I was sent this to try and also worked great for this hairstyle <music> So this is the next morning and as you guys can see the bantu knots look really good and this is the hair after taking the bantu knots out. The Caraveda cream was perfect. It's like your all-in-one leave-in moisturizer and everything. It's really moisturizing. So now I'm just going to apply the wig to my head and fix it up. If you guys see that gel on my forehead, I just applied some Equistyler coconut oil gel just so that the front of the wig can stick down to my forehead better. So now I'm going to separate the curls and they're really, really tight. So I'm going to go in with my blow dryer to stretch the curls out. That's what it looks like once I did this side. I'm just pulling the hair taut and stretching it out with the blow dryer. This is a really good technique if you have, you know, some curls that are too tight and you want to loosen them up. Now I'm just separating and picking for more volume. And I'm just going to repeat that process on the rest of the hair. So now we're going to work on this hairline and again I'm using this Topic Hairspray which for me this is what makes the frontals kind of blend in with my hairline. I just spray that and I'm going to apply my olive oil eco styler gel. It's going to blend out. I know it looks kind of crazy right now but once you just keep on applying the gel it kind of melts the fibers, the hairspray fibers and it makes it look really realistic without you having to use glue and a whole bunch of other stuff on your hairline. Now I'm going to take my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Dark Golden and apply that to my middle part just to make it look more natural. Lastly, I'm going to pick the hair out for some more volume and that is pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please like, comment, share and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next one.